What a hell of a match. What the hell of a match, man. Mamma mia. How many things happened this match? Ballon d'Or Touré. Ballon Touré. Ballon d'Or Touré. Rade Krunic. Very good. Believe, guys. Believe. Believe. Believe in our mentality change. This is a fact. Uh, drawing is not enough. Now we want to win. Now we want to get the second star. And this is the things that we have to believe. We Milanistas, we have to believe. Because things are very different. You know, against Napoli, we deserved the, the victory. Milan deserved the victory. Um, and the goal of Simeone came like a cold shower. And we were like, this is not fair. This is not fair. And I was feeling, like especially in the first half, that there was like a little bit of, you know, of kickback from that match. I was feeling like, oh man, the team is not secure anymore. It cannot score anymore. Second half again, like the first 20, 30 minutes, it was like, uh, like a little bit also unlucky. Empoli was super lucky, um, but the ball was not going inside the net. So I was getting frustrated. We were doing a live and everyone was frustrated. But as I said, we always have to believe because the mentality of Milan now is different. Now we're not okay for, we are not settling for a draw. We want a victory because we want to have the second star. Okay, this is the things that we want. So, Ballon, Ballon d'Or today, out from nowhere. First goal of his career, guys. The first goal of his, uh, of his professional career. <laughs> Can you believe it? The guy was crying. The guy was uh, thanking his mom. Uh, Pioli was hugging me. Maldini was hugging me, uh, hugging him. I mean, that was wild. And also, guys, the fact that the assist from, for Rade Krunic, believe in Rade. Pioli, guys, Pioli, once again, Pioli, once again, he won the match. And we can be talking about, about this guy, about that guy, about here, about uh, Tataruzan, about Kalulu, about Benasser, about our midfield, how good was it, how... Fantastic and incredible is Leal that he basically do whatever he wants. He can do it. Nobody can keep it. Nobody can keep Rafael Leal, um, in, at least in Serie A. Um, and, uh, but Pioli won the match. Pioli with uh, his... Subs Pioli, Pioli had... Um, he, he, had very, he was very unlucky when uh, he, we got Calabria injured, Salemacher injured, Kier injured. So we start with the defense with Calabria, uh, Tomori, Kier, and Baluture. We finish with Baluture, uh, Tomori, Kalulu as a mid in, in the central, and with Dest. Completely new, uh, new, new team. Um, then he put Rebic in the right moment. He knows how much he can play. He know he doesn't play the ninety minutes. He played only the last fifteen minutes. Right moment, right time, goal, goal, assist and goal for our, uh, Ante Rebic. That as I posted yesterday on Instagram, all the Arrosonero on the YouTube, all the Arrosonero subscribe to the channel, put a like to the video. I said, wake the fuck up, Rebic, wake up, wake up. And for the fifteen minutes, he he woke up. And that's all it matters, guys. And this is all it matters. Bringing home the three points, another, you know, another step closer to the second star. We need to keep believing in our team. We need to keep believing in uh, Maestro Pioli. And uh, what can I say, guys? MVP definitely was Rafael Leao because he did whatever he wanted tonight. Um, I think the real MVP was uh, Maestro Pioli. So I believe in the team. I believe in Maestro Pioli. Now we got Chelsea. Juve, Chelsea again. Hard, hard, really, really hard. Because um, if you play like this, you don't win in Stamford Bridge. You don't win. So hopefully we're going to be able to be a little bit more cynical, solid in the back, and uh, Ballon Touré, exactly. With uh, this, uh, exactly like he did in the last um, few minutes. Inspired, serious, boom, get the job done. Let's go, guys. Believe.